Hello everyone, this is David Marshall, ICCI President, and I'm bringing you the Spring Quarter 2016 Student Course Evaluations Report. This recording is being made Monday, July 18th at just about noon. So the student course evaluation process is as follows. We are required to have all lecture-based courses evaluated every quarter. That's to provide students opportunities to voice their praise and concerns about their academic experiences. This process is being driven by a number of factors, but primarily driven by our accrediting bodies. First, ACICS, which is the Accrediting Council for Independent Colleges and Schools. This is our U.S. accrediting body, which requires in the criteria this whole process, and it spells it out very explicitly. Uh, ACICS, of course, is also the degree granting authority agency in the U.S. that recognizes our degrees in the U.S. and elsewhere. The second driver is ASIC, the Accreditation Service for International Colleges, Schools, and Universities. ASIC is a UK-based organization. ICCI is a candidate for accreditation, and in about two weeks, the ASIC team will be here to give us one final look before considering us for full accreditation. ASIC also requires transparency about student learning and reporting of those learning results. Finally, IACBE, the International Assembly for Collegiate Business Education, ICCI is also a candidate for accreditation with IACBE. IACBE specifically accredits all of our business programs. That team will be here in November. So we are also required to share those results each quarter with the faculty and students. Additionally, we are required to share those results publicly with all of our external stakeholders. That's to ensure that the institution is being transparent with its community. One final note, we are also required to analyze the results of these data points and document that we're using the data points to improve teaching and learning over time. So again, it's not enough just to collect the responses, it's not enough to just share them. We also have to review them to make sure that we are using what students have told us in order to improve the teaching and learning process. So where do you get these student course evaluations? Well, if you attended ICCI in the spring quarter 2016, Yesterday, Sunday, these results were emailed to you. If you don't have them, you can also go to the website, icci.edu.ky, look on the right-hand tab and see the tab that says Student Consumer Info. You will see a number of different sections that we are required to post uh, per our accreditation guidelines about a number of areas operationally concerning the college. And right here you will see a section that says Satisfaction Reports. Click on this link. That link will bring you to this page which details our student satisfaction process. It will talk about our annual student satisfaction survey which is launched in the fall and also the annual faculty satisfaction survey which is also launched every fall. But right under those two areas you will see the student course satisfaction uh, information and you will see all of the courses that were offered during the spring 2016 quarter. You click on a course and the evaluations for that course will uh, be shown and you can read through them at your leisure. If you do not see the course that you took in spring 2016, it's probably because of one of two reasons. Number one, it was not a lecture-based course, so independent studies, reading, and conferences would not be listed here. Uh, secondly, we need at least three people in the course to, or three students to fill out the survey in order to protect the anonymity of all students who are participating. Otherwise, all the courses should be here, and if you have any questions about the satisfaction report process, please feel free to let us know.